On this rooftop in East Delhi, recycling workers are burning circuit boards to strip off computer chips and transistors. All the time, they are inhaling noxious fumes of highly hazardous heavy metals such as lead, mercury and cadmium, the main ingredients of computer boards. Salim has been burning computer parts for the last few years. He says the toxic fumes bother his eyes sometimes. On the floor below, Mehdi Hassan runs an electronic waste recycling business from his bedroom come office. The room also serves as a warehouse for obsolete electronic equipment waiting to be taken apart. Outside his bedroom, workers are stripping whatever parts they can resell for India's growing e-waste recycling market. Dr. Kevin Brigden, Greenpeace scientist at a biochemical lab at the University of Exeter in the UK, has recently analyzed dust, soil, ashes and wastewater from the workshops and their surrounding areas in India and China. His scientific analysis shows that the collected samples contain high levels of hazardous chemicals. We found high levels of contamination both on site where the material is being processed and in the immediate environments around there. Um, this consisted of a whole range of organic chemicals as well as he many heavy metals. In fact, so these were some of the most contaminated samples that have been through our laboratory in the last few years. Electronic waste, or e-waste, is one of the fastest growing waste streams around the world today. It is fueled by the exponential growth of personal computers in the market and by their rapid rate of obsolescence. Today, the highly toxic content of electronic equipment is posing a threat to human health and the environment. In India, Reusable computer parts and precious metals such as copper, silver and gold are highly prized. The precious material is copper. Copper has got a highest value in India and throughout the world. And how to separate it is just, just they are burning it. And this burning or burning causes pollution and it is hazardous. In this recycling shop, workers dip circuit boards and electric cables into plastic drums full of acid. The bubbles from the acid are stripping the cables of their last remnants of copper and traces of silver. When the acid is depleted, the men dump it into the open sewer in the area. Others burn wires coated with polyvinyl chloride or PVC to salvage the copper within. <laughs> The residents say large piles of PVC coated wires are burnt here a few times a month in this open field where children play cricket. They say a huge cloud of toxic smoke containing organic chemicals such as brominated flame retardants and PCBs covers the school next to the playground, jeopardizing the health of these children. Cathode ray tubes, or CRTs, and computer monitors contain high levels of poisonous lead. The workers coat lead powder over used CRTs before shipping them off to the second-hand market. Computer batteries, like the ones this child is chopping, contain highly toxic cadmium. Dr. Brigden says these chemicals cause devastating effects on the workers' health. Well, the heavy metals we found have a range of toxic effects. Metals like lead and mercury are particularly toxic to the nervous system, primarily 
on the developing nervous system in children and effects have been seen even at low levels, things like affecting the IQ of children. Heavy metals like cadmium are toxic to the kidneys and the effects will accumulate over time with um, ongoing exposures. The organic chemicals we found, many of them are bioaccumulative. They will build up in human tissues and uh, many have been linked with effects on the hormone system and other neurological impacts. While India emerges as a technology powerhouse, poverty, cheap labor and rampant corruption make it a prime market for the dumping and burning of electronic waste. In Europe and the United States, recycling a computer can cost as much as 20 US dollars. But in India, it costs just 2 US dollars. India's low recycling cost attracts e-waste from the United States, Europe, East and Southeast Asia, and from the Middle East. Environmentalists say manufacturers are responsible by using hazardous chemicals in their products that harm workers in recycling yards and their environment. All the multinationals and the corporations, they have to phase out the chemicals from their the products so that we have the cleaner product and easy to recycle. Uh, uh, and, and also they have to have take back policy uh, so that this discarded product doesn't uh, end up in, in the street of the Delhi. None of these women know the potential danger that toxic chemicals from these electronic parts pose to their health. Despite the ban on imports from developed countries, e-waste continues to pour into India to be recycled for its cheap labor and the profit generated by the e-waste recycling industry. Environmentalists say it is possible to substitute the hazardous chemicals with safer alternatives. Multinational corporations such as Sony, Samsung, Nokia, LG and Sony Ericsson have already committed to use less hazardous material in their products. Manufacturers could very well prevent workers from being exposed to hazardous chemicals in the e-waste workshops in East Delhi. <laughs>